Screwplux here. In this tutorial, we're going to make a RPG game player sheet using Google Docs. It's going to include how to create dropdowns, how to merge cells, how to format cells, and how to do extra validation. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first thing we're going to do is make uh, open up a Google Sheet. And then from the Google Sheet, we're going to look at our template here. And we're going to see which columns go with what. And so this little area here has eight individual cells. So we're going to count out eight cells here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to make them a little bit smaller. So we'll do strength here. And that'll be that empty space in between. And then all these little check boxes. So let's get six check box or six columns here, make them smaller. And then we're gonna go up to insert and we're gonna say tick box. And then we're gonna try to copy these, and sometimes they copy and sometimes they don't. So do control C here. And then try to paste it all the way across. Let's see if it works. Nope, it does not. All right, so let's try it individually. That didn't work either, so let's try again. We'll just do copy. And then paste all of these. Okay, now it's working. Paste and paste. And we don't need these checked, so let's uncheck these. Okay, first one strength. Next one's agility. Next one's wits. Next one's empathy. Okay. And now we want to add another section here for conditions. So we're going to select all those cells and then we're going to hit this merge button here, merge cells. It's going to make it one big cell. And then we're going to type in the text conditions. And then this one, uh, we're going to fill it in black. And then we want to change the font to white. And we're going to do the same thing for attributes up here. So we're going to merge all those cells together. Type in attributes. Just like before, set the background color, set the text color, and for whatever reason, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, so you just gotta keep doing it until it does. There you go. And then next, we are going to do this middle area. So we see that the most that it takes is these checkboxes down here. So there is 10 checkboxes, but there's also like two space around them. So we're gonna go with 12, using 12 columns. So you can't really see it on here with as big as they are, but we'll see if we can grab 12. Might have to zoom out. Even that's too big, so let's try 50%. And so we can select 12, three, four, five, six, 12, and make this one smaller, and it'll make all of them smaller. Okay. Now let's zoom back out. And 
and we know the first um, area here is going to be name, then kin. So let's start with merging these three cells together and putting the word name in here. And then for the next one, we'll do kin. And we can cut, copy and paste it or we can drag it down and it'll copy the format across. So we'll do kin. We'll do profession. The font's really tiny, it's hard to see. Do profession here. Do pride. And we'll do Dark Secrets. All right, and then we're going to use all those fields and merge them together for the name. And then we will do the same for Kin. And this is so we can do a drop down. So we're going to make a second sheet. We're going to call it data. You can call it whatever you wanted to call it. Um, on Kin, we're just going to give it a label at the top so we know what the data is. And then for the next one, we're just going to put some temporary data in here. We're going to say Kin1. And then from there, we should be able to drag this little circle here and it'll automatically update that number. So now we have a data set. And we can click on the field. We can go to data. We can say data validation. And then we can say um, we want to do a list from range here. And then click on this little box. And then we'll go to the data tab. And we will select all those values. And so it says data tab A2 through A16. So a2, A16, yep, and say OK. And then we can say reject input. So we can, we can say that if it's not in there, we don't let them save it. And then we go back to our sheets, and now we have a drop down, and that drop down will show those, so all that data. OK. And then later on, we can do it for professions, and we can do it for all these other things. So I'm going to speed up the video here and um, put some data in. Uh, all the same kind of format where we're just filling the values in, we're merging the cells. Uh, now we're going to check the, the last section here, and we're going to go based upon um, that very bottom coins area. And so we're just using, looks like six cells to cover all the data. We're going to do uh, merge them together here. We're going to do the skills. We're going to do fill in the background and you can copy and paste the format but I had not much success doing it so sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't so your luck may vary so most of the time I just have to manually do each one so like setting the background black and setting the text white um, I've been playing Forbidden Lands a little bit um, and so far it's been really good some of the rules I don't quite understand but um, we're, we're working through them and so here's another area with checkboxes and and then we have relations here and then we have some gear i think i messed up on where i put this at the bottom so i'm going to move it in a, in a bit but you can just easily say control x and control v and it'll copy and paste from one area to the next and then professions i'm just doing the same thing or making a data set and then I'm setting that validation there. And so the drop down for profession is the same. I believe there's Pride has one that has a known data set. And in the game, we've been trying to use the talents, but I, I, quite, I haven't quite figured out how they work yet. Um, so we haven't really been using those, but it seems like those are more of the skills you uh, rank up as you're doing things. But we have been doing the experience in the will little PowerPoints, and those have been working pretty good. So right there is where I had to move that box up. Okay, now I'm just going through um, 
each one of these a little bit slower. And I'm just going to show you here how to insert a picture at the top. So I'm just moving these fields down a little bit. And you can say insert above and it'll add some fields. So I'm going to grab all these together and clear formatting. And then I'm going to pick a few in the middle here, merge those together. And now I'm going to add the image to that. So you do insert image and give me a second to find my image that I want to drag over. I tabbed out so the screen went black for a second. And here it is. Oops, wrong one. Let's try this one here. And you don't have to do that. This is just more for making it nicer looking. So I made a little image. I did this in the Krita, and here's my little shameless plug to like and subscribe. Once you have that image there, that makes it look a little bit nicer, and then you can kind of fill in the side fields with a color or, or whatever you want to. And you can do some more validation here. So you can say, I know that this is, can only be a number, right? So I'll say number here, and then I can say it can only be between a number of 0 and 10. I'm not sure what the actual values or, or max is, but you can say 0 to 10. And then um, you can also add a validation help that will say between 0 and 10. So you click on there, and if they put in like a letter or a number or, something, or a uh, invalid value, it'll tell them invalid value must be 0 to 10. Or if you go into the data validation, and you say uh, reject input, then it won't even let them put it in. So they have to put in a number value. And if I say something bigger than 10, it says, nope, can't take that. It has to, has to be between 0 and 10. That wraps up this video. I uh, appreciate you watching. and. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. I will catch you next time. Bye.